الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد عن عطاء بن ابي رباح قال دخلت انا وعبيد بن عمير على عائشه رضي الله عنها فقالت the great scholar عطاء بن ابي رباح who was known as the mufti of the haram one of the great fuqaha of the past from the tabi'in he was one of the first individuals in our history with the title shaykh al islam he was so knowledgeable that they gave him a title shaykh al islam who knew about everything in islam and he narrates this sound hadith and one day him along with his teacher ubaid ibn umair they went to visit their mother aisha radiyallahu anha who was ubaid ibn umair he was one of the most eloquent people among the tabi'in he was so eloquent at the time of umar ibn al-khattab he was the first one who started this tradition of storytelling he knew how to move audiences to tears so he would sit down and tell stories and people would entire audience would begin to cry among the people who attended his durus was none other than abdullah ibn umar radiyallahu an he would attend the durus of ubaid ibn umair so these were two great individuals and this hadith will just share the entire hadith from um it's related by ibn hibban and it's a sound hadith both of them they wanted to visit aisha radiyallahu anha why were individuals like this so keen because everyone needs a teacher no matter how big you are what your stature is all of us have teachers and all of us have people higher than us this was a fortunate era where you had companions that were alive can you imagine an era in early medina you need to revive your iman you go visit a companion that's still around so one day they needed to do just that so they went to visit their mother aisha radiyallahu anha فقالت عائشة يا عبيد الآن لك أن تزورنا. She said to Ubaid, now you're visiting us. And what does that show? That shows our mother Aisha رضي الله عنها. She knew her students. She had an a connection with her students. She hadn't seen him in a while. So she said to him, now you want to visit us? you know as if you know when you have a close friend or family member you haven't seen them in a while when you go visit them ab khayalaya they say that in urdu now you remember to visit you know you finally remembered us so that's what she said to him and he being the eloquent person he was he said ya umma kama qala al awwal zur ghibban tazdad hubban he caught himself he knew how to respond he said oh mother it's like the ancient say um don't visit that frequently and your love will increase in english the best expression is absence makes the heart grow fonder so he said that to her and she said to him da'una min ratana tikum hadhihi leave this fancy talk of yours tell me why you're here so he said he asked her a question one question now what is the session for to revive their iman he said akhbirina bi a'jabi shay'in ra'aytihi min rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said tell us the most amazing thing you remember from the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what a loaded question that was fa sakatat she was silent for a while thumma qalat so she thought about it for a while she became emotional and then she told him a story she said lamma kana laylatun min al-layali one of the nights that we were together um qama rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he stood up and he said to aisha she also got up he said to her ya aisha darini ata'abbadu al-layla li rabbi leave me tonight to worship my lord tonight i need to worship my lord and aisha she said to him ya rasulullah inni la uhibbu qurbak wa uhibbu ma sarrak He said you know that I love nothing more than to be close to you but I also love what makes you happy. So then she lay down and he got up and she described what happened she said faqama fatatahhar thumma qama yusalli. He got up 
and he made uh, wudu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then he stood up and he began to pray then she described thumma baka falam yazal yabki hatta balla lihiyatahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam she said while he was praying he began to cry and he began to weep and he continued weeping he didn't stop until i noticed that his beard became moist so Aisha often used to do that. She would be pretending to sleep while observing the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then she continued, Thumma Baka, she said he began to cry again. Falam Yazal Yabki Hatta Balla Hijrahu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Continued crying until I noticed that his lap became moist with his tears. Thumma Baka Falam Yazal Yabki Hatta Balla Al Ard. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He continued to weep until I noticed that the ground became moist under him. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he continued this entire night in the state. And then she, she said, Thumma ja'a Bilal yu'addinuhu bis salah. Then near the time of Fajr, Bilal would come to uh, speak to the Messenger of Allah, get permission to give the adhan. So he came. And when he saw the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bilal said, Ya Rasulullah, Lima tabki, wa qad ghafar Allahu ma taqaddama wa ma ta'akhar. O Messenger of Allah, why do you weep? When Allah has forgiven everything of yours, past and present, past, present and future. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Ya Bilal, afala akuna abdan shakura. O Bilal, shall I not be a grateful slave of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then he continued and he said, Wallahi laqad nuzilat alayya layla ayatun waylun liman qara'aha wa lam yatafakkar ma fiha. By Allah, a verse was revealed to me tonight. Woe unto the one who recites and does not reflect over the meanings of the verse. And what was the verse? And this is the end of the hadith. The verse is in Surah Ali Imran. Inna fi khalq samawati wal ard wa ikhtilaf al layl wa al nahar la ayat li uli al albab verily in the creation of the heavens and the earth the alternation of the night and day are signs for those who reflect and the verses continue it's likely that a group of verses was revealed together the next verse is alladhina yadhkurun allah qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubihim those who remember allah Standing, sitting, lying down. They reflect deeply over the creation of the heavens and the earth. Uh, and they say, Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila. O our Lord, you have not created all of this in vain. And they ask dua, O Allah, save us from the fire. So this is the relationship of students and teachers. The relationship of the early Muslims in early Medina. A beautiful snapshot of life in early Medina. This was the relationship between the Prophet ﷺ and his wife Aisha radiallahu anha. And most importantly, this was the relationship of the Messenger of Allah with the Kalam of Allah, the revelation of Allah. This was the night when this verse was revealed. We we're talking about Sabab and Nuzul in this series. So this is the connection of this verse um, with an incident from the life of the Prophet ﷺ. See so many lessons from this story. The tenderness between husband and wife, the attachment of the Messenger of Allah to worshiping Allah, his greatest passion and prayer, and his interaction with the verses. And that can only happen by understanding the verses. And that's why he said at the end, Wail only man qara'aha wa lam ma fiha. Woe unto the one who recites this verse, and he means all of the verses as well. And does not reflect over the meanings of those verses. May Allah give us a tawfiq to reflect over the Quran. May Allah give us hearts like these hearts. May Allah give us relationships like these relationships and connections like these connections.